With the new season of Heartstopper coming out next year and Kit being spotted hanging out with his co-star, I thought we should talk about him. I'm your host Michaela, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it's free and without further ado, let's get started. Kit is from Purley in the London Borough of Croydon. He is no stage school graduate though, having attended the Haynes Primary School near Bromley and the independent Whitgift School. Kit Connor started off by having a minor role in the Channel 4 sitcom Chickens when it was piloted in 2011. The show, which became a series in 2013, was about three men who didn't go off to fight in World War I and consequently became social prize in their village. Kit played the character Clem alongside Simon Bird, Joe Thomas, Emerald Fennell, and Barry Humphreys. Not many people get to step into the shoes of a musical legend, but talented Kit was chosen to play teenage Elton John in the 2019 movie BIPOC Rocket Man, which starred Taron Egerton as the older version of the star. In the film, Kit got to perform Elton's 2001 song I Want Love. Kit has also teamed up with newcomer Joe Locke in the highly anticipated Netflix drama Heartstopper. There were open auditions for the converted roles, which attract thousands. Kit was chosen to play popular year 11 student and rugby star Nick. He becomes friendly with Charlie, played by Joe, in a year lower. As their friendship blossoms, it seems there might be more to their relationship as they become closer. In 2013, Kit also appeared in the BBC One hospital drama Casualty. The episode, which aired in December that year, dealt with a domestic abuse story and Kit played a character called Barnaby Lee. Kit also played youngster Tom Anderson in the movie Get Santa, about a father and son who decide to save Christmas after finding Santa Claus sleeping in their garage as he's on the run from the police. While making the movie, Kit must have picked up tips from the best because he co-starred alongside Jim Broadbent, Rafe Spall, Stephen Graham, Jodie Whittaker, and Warwick Davis. Kit said, as soon as I just started acting because I love Christmas, I knew I wanted my first movie to be a Christmas movie. I was so lucky. Going from small TV parts to a massive feature film was amazing. Surreal. Kit also landed the plum role in David Williams' 2018 film A Grandpa's Great Escape on BBC One, playing Jack, a boy who helps his grandfather escape from a retirement home and steal a Spitfire plane. David Williams said of the role, it's a story about a special connection between a grandson and grandfather, because Jack is the only one who understands grandpa. I often feel there's a special connection that skips a generation. Kit went on to appear in movies such as Mr. Holmes, which showed an aging Sherlock Holmes, played by Ian McKellar, dealing with dementia, the Grisney Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, alongside Lily James and Katherine Parkinson, plus he had a role in the sci-fi hit Ready Player One. As well as his voice role in His Dark Materials, Kit played Archie Beckles in the CBBC series Rockets Island and Bob Sheenan in the BBC One miniseries SSGB. He also starred as Russian boy Peya Rostov in the hit BBC One drama War and Peace, and he played a schoolboy Charlie Jones in series two of Ganchester in 2016. Even at such a young age, Kit hasn't limited himself to TV and film work and has made a name for himself on stage. He played the role of small boy in Welcome Home, Captain Fox, and played Alexander in Fanny and Alexander at the Old Vic in London. In 2019, Kit also played Joe in the film Little Joe, a movie centered around a single mum called Alice who brings home a specially developed a new species of plant for her son Joe, but Alice soon realizes the plant may not be as harmless as she hoped. Kit is only just old enough to vote, but he already has producing and directing credits to his name. He took on the role of producer and director in the short film titled Moving. The actor's Instagram page has 4.5 million followers. No wonder when he posts clips of himself singing Elton John hits. While playing the piano, he claimed to be very rusty when taking on the classic Rocket Man, but his followers loved it. Kit was then very delighted when he discovered Hollywood store and Oscar winner Olivia Coleman was playing his on-screen mother Sarah Nelson on Heartstopper. This was a role Netflix kept a big secret until the series was released on Friday, April 22nd, 2022. It's an experience that I don't think will ever really sink in, he said. I was just in awe of her for pretty much the whole time. She was so warm and just a wonderful person. It was so easy to act alongside her because she's just so naturally gifted and amazing. Kid had also revealed about how he came to hear about Alice Ullman's Heartstopper books through his own sister. My sister was a big fan. She had the first volume on her bookshelf, so I'd seen it around the house. When I got the first email about auditioning, they sent me a link to the web comics. I read it and said, I need to be a part of this. Then as the auditioning process went on, I read through the rest of the volumes. The more I kept reading, the more I really wanted to be a part of it. In 2020, Kit had also provided the voice for a video game for PS4 called Dreams by Media Molecule, the award-winning creators of Little Big Planet and Tearaway. When the long list nominations for the National Television Awards 2022 were revealed, fans of Heartstopper were given a difficult choice to make with their one vote for the Rising Star Award. That's because Kit Connor was up against his Heartstopper co-star, Joe Locke, and most fans love them both. Plenty posted their big dilemmas on Twitter that they were struggling with at the time. Kit had also told a podcast about his hope for Hot Starper season two. I suppose what I'd like to see for Nick, I think just the strengthening Nick and Charlie's relationship. In season one, we very much see the young love and the beginnings of their relationship. And I think that it would be lovely, you know, not to just act, also just to see as well, the relationship just sort of get stronger and blossom. Kit and his co-star were also spotted on what looks like the set of season two for the show. And people are excited, but also scared because of what will happen in season two. Now, I 
didn't watch the show or read the books, but from what it seems, it looks like one of them passes away, so it seems like fans might not be too happy if this does happen. Fans of Heartstopper have gathered to ship the main cast members who played Joe Locke and Kit Connor, not to mention Kit and Joe's on-set chemistry, which only adds to their fans' admiration. The on-screen couple, together with co-stars Yasmin Finney and Will Gale, was featured on the cover of the May-June edition of Attitude magazine, where they addressed everything from the most embarrassing moments to who had the oddest habits. According to Kit, Joe's coffee addiction resulted in some less-than-ideal smooches, which earned a wave of applause for their admirers. Even when there isn't a camera around, Joe and Kit aren't shy to display their love for one another in private. But they haven't confirmed or denied relationship rumors between the two. But they haven't confirmed or denied any relationship rumors between the two, nor does Kit have any previous dating history. But fans did go crazy when they showed up to London Pride together this year. And now onto the riches. He has a net worth of around $5 million, which is impressive for someone who is only 18. He also has a Mercedes CLS class for $72,000, a Tesla Model S for $94,000, a Mercedes G63 AMG for $130,000, and a Porsche came for $67,000. Amid production of a new movie that Kit is starring in, he was spotted holding hands with his co-star, Miro Fico, prompting fans to accuse Connor of queer baiting. Connor reacted to those accusations with a tweet. This is a silly, silly app. A bit bored of it now, deleting Twitter. Smiley face. In recent interviews, Connor expressed that he doesn't want to label his sexuality, yet when asked if he identified with the queer character he plays on Heartstopper. But context is important. Connor turned 18 years old in March 2022. It's not entirely shocking that an 18-year-old is still figuring himself out and not wanting to commit to making big statements. Overall, accusing Connor of queer baiting for playing an LGBTQ plus character on Heartstopper, but then being spotted holding hands with a female co-star from another project feels like a pretty significant stretch. First and foremost, being gay or straight aren't the two options in the sexuality spectrum. Secondly, holding hands with a girl doesn't define one's sexuality. But that is all. Let us know what you thought about this video in the comments below, and we will see you next time.